WWE Raw saw quite a few odd decisions made by the company, but one that had everyone talking was Brock Lesnar turning on Cody Rhodes. The segment saw the Beast Incarnate absolutely demolishing Rhodes after pretending to be his tag team partner in the main event. The reason for Lesnar's betrayal of Cody Rhodes is not known. However, it's expected heading away from WrestleMania, the two will be involved in a feud heading into Backlash. Rhodes was absolutely devastated during the main event of the show, with Lesnar hitting him with multiple F5s, as well as hitting him with chairs and using the steel steps to take him apart. WWE had several such questionable decisions made over the last week, with a lot of the blame put on the return of Vince McMahon, who is reportedly back in control, thanks to the sale. He was reportedly in the gorilla position yesterday. Fightful Select though, has reported who was responsible for producing the segment where Brock Lesnar turned on Cody Rhodes. They said that it was Michael Hayes who produced it. Michael Hayes was also the one who produced the opening promo between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes that saw the show move on from Triple H's promo at the start of Raw. Brock Lesnar walked away at the end of the show after destroying Cody Rhodes. Just then, he seemed to get instructions to go back and beat him up even more. However, before the moment could happen, just as he was walking out, WWE started to go off the air. Brock Lesnar was visibly frustrated at this, and the fact that he made a mistake was clear with the show going off early. He made it even more obvious with an obscene gesture at the camera while cursing, which he quickly turned into a taunt towards the down Cody instead. Brock Lesnar flipped off the camera and then turned his gesture towards a decimated American nightmare. It remains to be seen how the feud between Lesnar and Rhodes will pan out over the next few weeks. Vince McMahon once again changed the landscape of WWE when he made his way back into the company and made a deal with Endeavor. However, fans held McMahon accountable for the poor show after WrestleMania 39 which led to a trend on Twitter to fire the executive chairman. Last night, fans were expecting a blockbuster show on Monday Night Raw, which included the fallout from WrestleMania 39. Instead, the WWE Universe got something completely different as most of the show was changed at the last minute due to the arrival of Vince McMahon in the gorilla position. The show was all over the place, with matches and segments getting cut short, which disappointed fans across the globe. Today, a new trend took over Twitter, which says hashtag Fire Vince, as fans want the executive chairman to stay away from the creative aspect of the product. You can see some reaction ahead. One fan wrote, Fans do not want you. Talents do not want you. No one wants you. No one needs you. We are many times happier without you and the company is doing many times better without you. Care for what the fans want only for once in your life and leave us alone. Another fan tweeted, After watching Raw last night and watching months of Triple H in charge, I felt sick to my stomach. Triple H should be the one in charge of creative, not Vince. Only way to get him out at this point is to protest about this as fans and not watch WWE. Let's do that, shall we? Fans are outraged by McMahon's return behind the headsets and it will be interesting to see what the future holds for the creative head of the product in the near future.